Hello YouTubers and welcome to the AddictedToAndroid.com review channel. Today we're running a live Antutu Bismarck test and it's for the CS4K. And this is a Rockchip RK3288 1.8 GHz CPU Android TV box. And uh, in this review we're just going to check out the Antutu Bismarck results. Then uh, we'll show you the pre-installed apps, software, and uh, then do some web browsing. I just want to remind you to like uh, our YouTube review channel, also subscribe. We're going to be uploading many uh, Android TV boxes and uh, TV sticks, so uh, just another reason just to uh, subscribe to the addicted2android.com review channel. So here the unit is, right here actually, um, and we we'll probably will be doing an unboxing as well, but you see here it has dual, two antennas. and. Uh, Another cool thing about this unit is it has three full-size USB ports and uh, I think there will, there will be an optional camera option. So uh, the results are in and let's just see what it gets. It's a nice score of uh, 34,613. Now let's just check out the details. So it's running Android 4.4.2 KitKat. It has 2 GB DDR3 RAM with about half of that free. Again, 1.8 gigahertz quad-core CPU and a Mali T764 GPU, which uh, this GPU is actually really good for gaming. So here we have the device info, and uh, we have 8 gigabytes ROM with about 2. Point, about the, almost 3 gigabytes here, and then well, 2.35 gigabytes free here, and then 2.89, so about just around six gigabytes free, maybe five and a half, and 240 DPI on the screen. And uh, this firmware was last updated on November 24, so truly an early new release. And uh, yeah, so again, it gets a great score of 34,613. And uh, we'll get out of here and just show you some of the uh, show you the interface so really simple here again it's nice Android 4.4 uh, KitKat and uh, we'll go to settings in a second and do some web browsing but let's check out all the icons so it looks like there may be a camera on this and just try oh there is so it does have a camera so it looks like this model will have a camera so get out of that it's my messy desk <laughs> And it uh, has quite a few other uh, cool things that uh, some of the other um, boxes that we have reviewed don't have. And this looks like it's probably a, uh, it's like a Chinese streaming uh, app. So uh, we may let that do that and then uh, we come back later. So this is like a KTV thing again. It's another Chinese app. So some of the apps that are in here. Uh, that you may not want, uh, you can just uh, delete those. Quick Soft Office, so this allows you to use Word, Excel, PBT, just uh, using it for business or uh, study. Twitter, Netflix, XPMC. Let's check out, oh, this is Cody. So uh, this is the second uh, unit that, that we reviewed that does have Cody. The other unit is the uh, Yugus UT3, and uh, the most recent one was the Yugus UM3. And it has full play store. And it looks like this is like, uh, again, it's another Chinese app, but it's for gaming. So, I mean, some of like, like, if you can read Chinese, then I guess you can use some of the apps, but otherwise, then uh, maybe you can just uh, delete those apps that you don't, that you don't need or you don't want. Okay, now let's just go into settings and then we'll do some uh, web browsing. So here we can just see some of the memory of 2.4 gigabytes free here, 2.9 gigabytes free there, and then running we'll see the RAM. So about one gigabyte free RAM and one one gigabyte used. And here are all the apps. Again, uh, just a reminder to uh, like our video, also subscribe, and sometimes it does take a little bit 
while it's for it to load. But here are some of the other information about this unit, firmware and build. Okay. And here are all the apps, so again we'll just scroll through. So again, this is one of the few ones that does have a camera. The other one that has a camera is a CS9182. And uh, that should be on our site as well. Google Play Store, HTML Viewer. Sound Recorder, Speech Recorder, Twitter, YouTube. So quite a few uh, apps there. And again, this does support multi-language. We'll just uh, scroll through for international viewers. And uh, yeah, so we'll actually, let's see if there's a different browser on here. And it looks like there's only one browser, so uh, we'll just... Uh, Go to a couple sites. So uh, show off the Rock Chip RK3288 CPU. So you can see there it was nice and fast for loading. And uh, we'll go to addicted to uh, Android.com here shortly. Let's just, uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll use this, uh, we have a fly mouse here, keyboard mouse, which uh, should be able to get this to work here. So uh, once you're on uh, Addicted to Android, you can see we actually do have a mini PC section. Uh, and let's see if we have it. So maybe we'll, we'll have a RK3288 section here shortly. We'll be updating this. Um, but here on the mini PC, you can see that there are other TV boxes as well. So uh, we actually just now did a review for this uh, EK328, EKB328, and let's see if we can just see the. Well, this is the CS928, which actually has the camera that we were talking about earlier, and uh, this CS4K isn't showing up, so we'll just do a quick search. Yes, and then uh, okay, so it is on the site, and uh, it is on sale as well. Here the unit is, and try it. I'm never sure how to collapse this keyboard. Okay, so uh, again, this does have multi-language support. And uh, here's some of the Wi-Fi information. Again, this has dual Wi-Fi antennas, which makes this a really uh, special unit. It supports Bluetooth 4.0, which is a nice little feature there. HDMI output and audio output directly. 
So uh, pretty straightforward. Again, uh, we will be doing an unboxing just to show you some of the accessories. It does come with a lot of accessories. We'll also be showing you the free YouTube promo gift. So make sure to check out. Uh, it, it, it's actually going to turn out to be part two, but it's going to be the unboxing review for the CS4K. Again, I just want to remind you guys to uh, like our video. Also subscribe to AddictedToAndroid.com review channel. And uh, thanks for watching.